Welcome back to my channel, Jacob Payton here. Today we're talking about Son of the Endless Night by John Ferris. This is his novel of demonic possession, which Stephen King said is America's premier novelist of horror. Nobody does it better. And Ferris is the giant of contemporary horror, says Peter Strub. So pretty great endorsements right there. And then inside, this is apparently the book club edition, which I didn't know, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is obviously an older hardback. Um, it says, Not since The Exorcist has there been such a powerful novel of demonic possession as Son of the Endless Night. Perhaps never has there been a novel that so wed supernatural horror with human weakness as to make the two inextricably one. An apparently senseless slaying at a Vermont ski resort is revealed as the overture to a symphony of evil in which a young man's mind and soul are held ransom by Zarok Baltag, a millennia-old spirit. Zarok's object, a trial between the forces of darkness and light to be held in a Vermont courtroom as part of a young man's murder trial. The forces of evil are well armed with weapons of sensuality, delusion, and horrible death. The forces of good seem relatively ill-suited for their contest. The brother of the accused, a failed priest turned professional wrestler, a black priest, a former pro basketball player, specializing in ancient languages and exorcism, an itinerant fundamentalist preacher and his girlfriend, and a retired barrister who lives on a secluded sunny island with a community that devotes itself to the worship of light and the expulsion of darkness. These leading figures and dozens of others meet the challenge in a climactic confrontation that will leave no reader unmoved. And it says, John Ferris is the author of Harrison High, The Fury, The Captors, The Uninvited, Catacombs, and All Heads Turn As The Hunt Goes By. John Ferris apparently lives in Puerto Rico, at least in 1984. Don't know if he still does. Um, but yeah, this was... A good book. I'm usually not a huge fan of books that are on uh, demonic possession. I didn't hate The Exorcist, but if you've been watching this channel for any period of time, you know that I kind of like more action adventure. I like uh, pulpy horror. I like things happening. Um, whereas a lot of times, demonic possession is very slow burn horror, and at least from what I've read. I mean, I'm sure there are exceptions to this rule that I just haven't gotten to yet, but it seems like with books like The Exorcist, a lot of times they happen very much in one room. Um, a lot of the characters are priests, which I don't find super fun because once again, it's usually the priests that are going up against these un uh, un uh, unimaginable evil, if I can talk today. Jesus. Um, but Son of the Endless Night really wasn't like that, and I think that's what I liked about it. Uh, there was a, a lot of head hopping, which I usually don't like, but all the characters were really interesting. Um, and I also liked it showing how the demon got them or didn't get them, right? Because once all these different characters start tracking down Zarek uh, Beltag and try to find ways to cast him out and to even just prove that he's there, because once again, they are trying to acquit a person who is on trial for the murder of their girlfriend at a ski lodge um, by demonic possession, basically, is their defense. Like, he didn't mean to do it. He was demonically possessed. And we're going to prove it. Um, which is really interesting. And like I said, I really liked the psychological horror aspect of it. Whereas, like, yeah, this supernatural evil is happening, and that's scary, and yes, it's making these bad things happen, um, but also what was really scary to me was just the fact that the way it could pick up on the darkness inside of each person and then try to play that against them, I thought was really fun and really interesting. Um, and I don't want to spoil that for you guys, because, um, you know, I don't... I, you know, if you decide to read this book, I don't want you to be like, oh, well, I know this character's going to give in, and that character's not, and so on and so forth. Because that is half the fun of this book. Um, I did really enjoy this. I do think I would read another John Ferris book. 
Uh, if you're looking for a demonic possession book that is, I think, a little more fast-paced than The Exorcist, you should definitely give this a try. Um, I did enjoy this a lot. Um, but I will say it is a lot of head-hopping. Um, and it's pretty lengthy. It comes in, I think, around 460, 500 pages, something like that, which is kind of lengthy for maybe not all books, obviously. I mean, Stephen King has written some real door stoppers, but for a lot of horror books I pick up, this was a bit longer. But I thought it was, um, you know, I, I didn't mind that. It wasn't like it was just long for the sake of being long. Obviously, we were getting a lot of different character stories. And then I thought the uh, climax in the courtroom was well worth the wait, so I will not spoil that uh, for y'all either. I would, this is one of those books that I would definitely love to see get made into a movie, especially with like, you know, we have shows like Evil, which are very popular, and then a couple years ago they had an Exorcist TV show, which I really enjoyed. Um, at least the first season. The second season was eh. But the first season of it was really good. Um, I know it is kind of weird. I don't like Exorcist books usually that much, but I will watch the shit out of an exorcism TV show. So I guess, yeah, I'm a bit hypocritical there. But yeah, I would uh, definitely love to see this made into a movie. I did enjoy this book. If you like supernatural horror or psychological horror, and even there are like some pulpy horror deaths and stuff. So there is a bit of campiness to this book as well, which I thought was really fun. I definitely think uh, you should check out Son of the Endless Night. Um, and I will link that in the show notes because um, it has been republished, so this isn't one of those books I talk about and then like you can't really find it anywhere unless you're like me and you find it for like a nickel at a library sale, which I did with this book. But luckily there is an ebook version and I will link that in the show notes. Um, so yeah, uh, if you've read this book and you enjoyed this book, didn't enjoy this book, please let me know. And also uh, feel free to comment if you know of any other exorcism based books that you think I should read that are a bit different or maybe a bit more fast paced than The Exorcist, a bit more like this, um, because I would definitely be down to check those out, especially as we are going to the quote unquote spooky season. Um, but yeah, until next time, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.